Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back into the card closet for another episode. Glad to have you here tonight. It's been a little while since I've done a video. Been real busy lately. You know, everybody seems to be saying that. But uh, I think things are going to slow down now. Hopefully I'll be a little bit more consistent with the videos. I want to show off something that came in the mail late last week. And this is a 1960 J Publishing Boston Red Sox team set. The reason I went for it is because there were a couple pictures. I guess they're more pictures than cards. There were a couple pictures of players that didn't have cards in the top set. So actually I'll start out showing you the 1960 Boston Red Sox team set. And I'll show you the additions that the J Publishing set got me. So we've got the team card. We've got a Tom Borland rookie card. One thing I like about this era was this logo that the Red Sox had with that little red sock holding the baseball bat. I thought, always thought those were kind of cool. 1960s got the uh, landscape alignment of the cards. There's Pumpsy Green's rookie card. Not sure if I like the alternating colors on the letters and the names, but I suppose for 1960 that was probably pretty cool. Here is the first of three manager cards. Red Sox had three managers that year. Billy Jurgis here started the year, made it look like until early June, and then he was fired. Frank Malzone, he was a hard hitting third baseman for the Red Sox in the late 50s and early 60s. love to hear in the comments if you like this design. I do like the inset card, you know, the profile card and then the uh, kind of inaction or, you know, faked action card. Here's the second manager card, Del Baker. He was their manager for one week while they were between regular managers. Here's Bobby Thompson. Yes, that Bobby Thompson played for the Boston Red Sox that year. That's what the back of the cards look like. Gives their season statistics along with their lifetime statistics. A little cartoon. And here's my Carl Yastrzemski rookie card. Not slabbed, not even, not even at the bank in the safe deposit box. It's uh, a little chewed up there on the top and a, a crease on the upper left corner. Not a great condition card. Probably when I get to the point where I've completed my team set run and I'm ready to go start upgrading cards, this will probably be the first one I do. I bought this one when I was 16 years old. I was a caddy at the country club in the city I grew up in and I saved up my money and I remember going to a card show at one of the malls in town and this was advertised for $60 and I offered 50 and they took it and I thought that was a steal. Probably could get that card for the same price today in that condition. Frank Malzone. All-star card. And then, by buying the Jay's, Jay Publishing set, I was able to pick up some additional players. Some Most of these are already in the tops set over here, so they will be available for trade. Here's the third manager. Mike Higgins became their permanent manager in uh, middle of June. 
1960. Another Pumpsy Green. A couple more players you've already seen. The backs of these are blank. Luckily they came in these uh, two pocket Ultra Pro pages. So I don't have to figure out how to display them. Russ Nixon, Billy Muffet, they were not in the set, the top set. So these are additions to the team. So glad to pick those up. Same with this guy here, Willie Tasby. He wasn't in the top set either. Pete Runnels. Here's the big reason I got it, Ted Williams. Since Ted Williams played in 1960, I consider this to be a playing day card, since this is a 1960 issue. And he wasn't in the top set, so I had to go the J Publishing route to get a Ted Williams from 1960. I believe there is a Jackie Jensen available only in Bazooka, and there's a Ted Willis only available in Fleer, which are the last two players from 1960 that have cards that I uh, don't have yet. So I'm going to be after those. So there you go, 1960 Boston Red Sox team. Hope you like that. Hope you're having a great, great week. It's only Monday, but hoping you have a great week ahead of you. I know we've got a couple things planned later in the week. Have a funeral and uh, going to do a concert. So it's going to be a fun time. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me here in the card closet. We will talk to you soon. Bye.